from the Denver Broncos Media Center. Welcome to Broncos Country Tonight with Ryan Edwards and Benjamin Albright. All right, Broncos Country Tonight. Ryan Edwards, Benjamin Albright breaking down the Broncos as they head into this week taking on Washington. Ben, let's go ahead and start with the Broncos working on early downs in practice. Now, this is something that I, I almost would assume that they would have done all along considering the fact that uh, you've been struggling for most of the year on early downs. But what do you actually get out of focusing an entire practice on early downs? Well, I don't know how you work on early downs. It's just plays. It's first and ten. Like, every play is there. What's the what's the difference? I don't understand what the difference is in working early downs. I understand working third down. Hey, this is the play we have to get to this yardage marker by the end of this play. I understand working that. Working early downs doesn't even make sense to me. Uh, so... I, I don't think that that's, that's a real thing. I think they're just out there working on plays and trying to get stuff done. What do they need to do? They need to get yardage. They've got to, they've got to quit taking rando deep shots and then deciding, okay, we're going to dive the ball for two yards and make a third and eight and see if we can convert that. Those, that's, this is not a feasible, coherent offense. Uh, and if you're going to chain together a drive, then you chain together a drive. And you take deep shots where it makes sense on second and two. You know, or on third and one, if you're going to go for it on fourth and, you know, on fourth and one. So uh, take your deep. Pat Shermer's got to learn to take his shots down the field at different times because Teddy doesn't have a good deep ball arm. He doesn't have deep, good deep ball accuracy, and they've been unable to complete most of them. Okay, well, the, the thing that I guess I would look at if I'm working on early downs is more my philosophy on if we get this much, this much yard is on first down. And then what are we shooting for on, you know, on second down? And, and, and I guess it would be more of, okay, if, if, if we throw and we only get, we, we get nothing. We're second and 10. Mm-hmm. Are we immediately going to the run there? Or are we going to go to pass? I, I, think, I think more of the philosophy of second down is where I'd like to see the Broncos really kind of tinker with. Because you're right. On first down, you're just trying to get the most yards you can. I mean, why, why would you not? Why would you not look for big explosive plays? Well, no, you're, you're obviously not a philosophy of we're running every first down. That's not going to be the case anyways. Well, you're not looking for explosive plays. Off. No, no coherent offense is looking to, to take the bomb on first down unless they're confident. Pat Shermer has. No coherent offense is looking <laughs> for it to take the bomb on first down unless you're confident that you can win on second and third, which the Broncos can't. Uh, and, and you don't have a quarterback that's really geared for deep ball throwing. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater is one of the worst in the league when it comes to, to deep ball accuracy. So at the end of the day, if you're going to be, you wanted this guy, you wanted Teddy Bridgewater. This is your handpicked quarterback. You want a scheduled quarterback. You got to have a schedule offense for him. I was watching a little bit of our, our buddy Tim Jenkins video, and mm-hmm. uh, you can find that on YouTube. He does a great job. All things QB. Shout out to him. And he was sort of breaking down the games and specifically this last one where he, he kind of showed it wasn't so much Pat Shermer and the play calls so often as it was Teddy Bridgewater looking for the check down when deeper shots were available mm-hmm. or, you know, on that interception, he went deep where actually he said that it wasn't necessarily the bad read. He just needed to, to put more on it. So it, is, is it a function of Teddy Bridgewater not being 100 percent? Is it a function of who Teddy Bridgewater is? and why the Broncos' performance at quarterback is what it is right now. I think it's both. I mean, I, I think it is what Te- – we know what Teddy Bridgewater is. We've seen his whole career and selling ourselves that he was going to be something different than he's been his entire career, including last year with Carolina. It was, frankly, uh, silly. Um, you can win with Teddy Bridgewater in certain ways, and that is with a strong run game and a strong defense. And the Broncos' defense has regressed over the last couple of weeks as well. Uh, and so you're not going to win when you're – plan is for Teddy Bridgewater to try to bail you out with a lot of passing in the fourth quarter. It's just not going to work. Uh, they're going to stay back at umbrella coverages and, and eventually pick him off. And that's frankly what has happened. Uh, he pads a stat total to make it look good. But if you look at the first three quarters of play, he's been one of the worst bottom five quarterbacks in the NFL. And and so if you're going to, again, if you're going to create an offense for Teddy Bridgewater, play to his strengths, get a strong run game and get that run game going, have a schedule based offense. Don't sit there and take deep shots on first end and waste it down that you could be using trying to get to, uh, you know, trying to get yourself in third and manageable. If you're going to do something like that, all these plays they're running on third down where they get five that when it should be nine, right. run that on first down. Yeah. Then you're, then you're at, what, second and five? Now, all of a sudden, you've got a wide-open playbook. But this is the thing. We knew the philosophy from the beginning here, Ben. We knew the philosophy of what the offense needed to look like. We knew what the philosophy needed to be on the defensive side of the ball, too. And, and, and the fact is, the defensive side of the ball hasn't, as well, hold up their end of the bargain. I don't think, and, and, and Teddy Bridgewater was on uh, the KOA Sports Zoo saying that he was 70 75% in mm-hmm. that game against Cleveland. I don't think 70 75% Teddy Bridgewater was the reason they lost that game. I don't think it helped. 
But I, I, I still contend that the reason they lost that game is they struggled to get the Cleveland Browns off the field. The Cleveland Browns offense was able to do what they wanted first drive to the last drive of the game. It was a combination of not being able to sustain drives on offense and allowing Cleveland to sustain drives on defense. Your defense is gassed by the end of the game and not able to, uh, not able to stop anything. So it's a combination of both. It was complimentary football in the wrong direction. You know, and, and, and that's the thing. As an offense, you've got to be able to sustain drives to keep your defense off the field at times. Give them, you know, let them catch a breather. And uh, we, we saw in that game that if you're not able to, to get anything going on offense, your defense is going to be out there a lot. They're already shorthanded. And you saw what happened in the, in the second half. Yep. And so I, I don't know, as you go into this game against Washington, we'll spend some more time tomorrow actually breaking down Washington. But as you go into this game, what are you trying to establish? What are you trying to do? better than what you've done already so you start with the the early downs well yes of course you want to be better at early downs I think you wanted to be better on early downs the entire season but the philosophy there has to come from what happens when it doesn't work the way we want on first down because that's where it seems like the Broncos go into a little bit of a well let's just make it up as we go well and but that's the thing the you you can't have a low percentage play on first down and then expect to recover that we've right. seen all year that's not so a low that's percentage a deep shot is not the way to go that's a great Take, point if you're using all these high percentage six yard plays on third down just move those over to first down and then figure it out on second if you get second and short that's the time to take the deep shot while everybody's like okay they're trying to convert the first here I've got a free down to do this then they'll run it on third if they don't get it those are the time quit taking low percentage plays it's just like swinging at the first pitch no matter what taking a home run cut at the first pitch at the plate no matter what that's who pat Shermer is he's adam dunn taking the home run cut on on the first pitch now he's in the hole oh and one now what and you know and every once in a while you're gonna bust open a play you know the the uh, over sunday right and is, you'll think that justifies it but it doesn't it doesn't but then also like say cincinnati when they were pl- taking on the ravens that uh, 82 yard touchdown mm-hmm. that they had to jamar chase the Ravens loaded the box. They had 10 guys in the box. They were expecting run on third and two because that's what happens in third and two. You get teams all the way up. All you do is hit a slant, break a couple of tackles, and maybe you get a big play. But the, the key there is to be in third and manageable. Yeah, the key is to be ahead of the schedule, ahead of the chains. And you have the you have a, a scheduled quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater. Start creating a schedule offense so that he can be consistent. All right, tomorrow we'll break down the Broncos and Washington matchup. For Benjamin Albright, I'm Ryan Edwards. Thanks for watching Broncos Country Tonight.